Hey YouTube, today I'll be showing you how to live stream your computer games using open broadcasting software onto sites such as twitch.tv or justin.tv. And the game I'll be showing you how to live stream is Dota 2 since it's free to play and a lot of people have it. So once you download open broadcasting software, which I'll put a link to in the description, you will want to open it. Oh, but before doing that, you'd want to open your game such as Dota 2 and I like to keep it windowed so I can easily just open it. So once you're in open broadcasting software for your given operating system you'll want to go to scenes and click add scene and just name it whatever the crap you want. Then you'll want to add a source to this scene but the source you want to add is a game capture to be specific. Since this is Dota 2 I'm just going to name it Dota 2. Up at application, you'll want to click Dota, Dota 2. And you don't really need to adjust any of this. But if you want to, you can. What you're going to need now is your stream key to get it onto Twitch. So you want to go into settings, and then onto broadcast settings. You'll want to select mode live stream, streaming service, twitch slash justin.tv and then global load balancing service. I believe it fills out automatically for you, but if it doesn't, just make sure you get these. So you'll want to go to twitch.tv slash broadcast. You'll just want to go to show key. And then this is what you want to copy into here. Then you'll just want to click OK. And to make sure your stream is working, you can open the game. Just kind of push that off to the side. Click Preview Stream. And see, there we go. We have Dota 2 all set. You can stop the preview. And to actually go live, you want to click Start Streaming. But I'm not going to do that because I don't want to start a stream right now. But once you click that, you can just continue to play your game. And it will show on your... Twitch channel, which will be right here. Alright guys, so I hope this video works out for you. If there's anything additional you'd like to know for using open broadcasting software, I think this is a great software. It's very simple and I think it's better than using XSplit since you don't have to use just a free trial. And just so you know, this software is in beta I believe, so if you encounter any difficulties, you can leave a comment below, and thank you for watching.